Hello grade 10 math students, in this video I'll be looking at the cos graph. Let's jump right in, but don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. We'll be going over what a cos graph looks like, how to draw it, and I'll also be going over some of these terms that you see over here, period, amplitude, domain, and range. This is what the basic cos graph y equals cos x or y equals cos theta looks like. Just like with the sin graph, we plot in 90. So it's called going up in steps of 90. These are my x values. They go in the place of x. They are degrees. So we will type into our calculators cos of 90 equals cos of 180 equals and so on. On my y axis, I go up in units of 1. So let's plot the basic cos graph. I'll actually be starting with cos of 0. So 0 is my first angle over here. In the place of x, I put 0. So I type cos of 0, and I press equals, and it gives me 1. Then on the graph over here, where x is 0, where my angle is 0, my y value is 1. So that's where my first coordinate goes. Then I type in cos of 90 degrees, press equals, it gives me 0. So where x is 90, cos of 90, my y value is 0. I do that for 180, 270, and 360. So cos of 180 will end up giving me negative 1. Cos of 270 gives me 0. And cos of 360 is 1. So it essentially gives me all of these coordinates over here, which I can plot on the graph. Remember, your x is are these values over here, 0, 90, 180. So these are all your x values. And then when you type it into your equation, you get your y values, which, are, which is going to be on the y-axis. So we've already plotted this one. We've plotted cos 90. Cos 180 is equal to negative 1. Cos of 270 is equal to 0 cos of 360 is equal to 1. And then we need to join the dots. When you join the dots, please never join the dots with straight lines like this. That's not how the graph works. Trig functions, they curve. So you need to join them with curvy lines as best as possible. It is quite difficult to get the curve correct. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just make sure that it's not straight lines. Okay, so this is perfect over there. Now what we do is we label the turning points. You see this one's a little bit wonky. So that would be 180 and negative 1. This over here would be 360 and 1. Note for how my graph, I plotted the following x values from 0 to 360. In the sin video, we spoke about how this is the domain from 0 to 360. But the domain can differ depending on the question, depending on what they ask. So in this question, I plotted from negative 360 to positive 360 on my x-axis. So my domain goes from negative 360 to positive 360. And you can see the shape of the cos graph. You can see how that same shape, you can see it goes like that. That same shape repeats itself. And if I were to continue with the x values this way and this way, the graph would be continuous. It would continue in both directions infinitely. Remember, we plot in steps of 90, so every 90 degrees we plot a coordinate. You must label your turning points like I did, and remember to draw your graph all curvy. Now, back to domain versus range. We've already been speaking about domain, but remember domain, or your x values, range, or your y values, and I've shown you this in a previous video, but this is how I remember the difference between domain and range. Range, y values. So for this graph, just like the one I plotted earlier, my domain is theta is an element of 0 to 360. Again, notice how I'm using square brackets. Square brackets means including. My x values start from 0. The graph starts where x is 0 or where theta is 0. It's including that value all the way to 360. It includes that value. You must say theta is an element of. Or if the graph said y equals cos x, then it would be x is an element of. Remember range or your y value. So where does the graph exist for which y values? We start with this y value. The minimum is at negative 1. The maximum is at 1. So y is an element of negative 1 to positive 1. We use square brackets because it's including those values. 
you will recall that period is how long it takes for one full cycle or wave to complete. And as I showed you already earlier, this over here, so from where theta is zero to where theta is 360, stopping right over there, that would be one full wave or one full cycle. You can see that that same shape repeats itself every 360 degrees. That is why the period is 360 degrees. And in grade 10, just like for the sin graph, the period will always be 360 degrees. In grade 11 and grade 12, we change the period, but for grade 10, 360 degrees. The amplitude, that is the distance from the resting position to the highest point. Now, the resting position is a little bit difficult to conceptualize if we're not talking about a graph that is the standard cos graph because it's not always necessarily the x-axis, but it's basically the middle point of the graph like this. In um, the other videos in this playlist later on, I will show you more complicated um, versions when we shift the, the cos graph up or down and the resting position changes. You can see it, but basically it's the distance from that resting position to the highest point. From that resting position to the highest, the maximum or the minimum point. It is also the number in front of cos. So over here we've got an invisible one. The amplitude for this normal cos graph, the basic cos graph is one. Over here you can see that if I change the amplitude, so now I make it a two, it causes me to vertically stretch the graph. So you can see here the distance from this position to the maximum is no longer one, it's two. So it stretched the graph. It basically took the graph and it did that. Okay, that's changing the amplitude. And just like with the sin graph, we can actually calculate the amplitude. So you take the maximum y value, which is one in this case. So the amplitude is the maximum y value one minus the minimum y value, which is negative one. So minus minus one divided by two. That is two divided by two, which is one. And what happens if the amplitude is negative? So remember, the amplitude is also the number in front of cos over here. So for the blue graph, the amplitude is 1. For the green graph, the amplitude is negative 1. So if the amplitude is negative, it represents a reflection in the x-axis. So remember, the x-axis is this one. If I have a reflection in the x-axis, whatever is here will appear over here. So you're basically mirroring the graph. So look at the blue graph. That is the normal, the standard sin cos graph, sorry, that I showed you. So cos of 0 is 1. Cos of 90 is 0. Cos of 180 is negative 1. Try it on your calculator. If you put a negative in front of that, say negative cos of zero, you're going to get negative one. See how these points are reflected in the x-axis. Instead of one, it's a negative one. Instead of one, it's a negative one, and so on. So here is a summary of the cos graph. Now remember the things marked with the star can change depending on the question in terms of domain or depending on the formula in terms of the range or the amplitude. So if we change things like we put a two in front of cos like that, that will change the amplitude. It will also change the range. So just be careful. What I'm giving you here is for the normal cos graph or for the very basic cos graph. In this question, the domain was from 0 to 360, but the question can really ask you for any domain. So they could say plot the, the cos graph for negative 180 to positive 180. And then your domain will be from negative 180 to positive 180. It really just depends on the question given. Okay. But the period will always, always be 360 in grade 10 at least. And I thought it would be interesting to show you how similar the sine graph and the cos graph really look. They are basically, they just start at different places. Look at that. Okay. In the next video, we'll be tackling the tan graph. And in other videos in this playlist, we cover more complicated things like the vertical stretch. So changing the amplitude, the vertical shift and other things related to that. So check out the other videos linked in the playlist in the description below. See you in another video very soon. Bye everyone.